Hi there, my name is Ryan. Uh, this is part two of a demonstration, quick demonstration to show how you can use IBM Watson speech to text from the IBM Watson Unity SDK to change the color of a sphere. Uh, we got the voice working uh, in the prior uh, part one of this video. Um, we did that by going to uh, the IBM Watson cloud, getting a free version of the speech to text service endpoint. Uh, and then basically pasting in the, um, the credentials, a username and password, and getting the service going. Uh, so now that we've got that up and running and we've got a text screen stream that's sort of rolling into Unity, the next step is to create some basic objects um, and then try to listen for a keyword and uh, change the uh, color of an object based on that. So we're going to stop out of here and head back to our scene. And uh, let's go and create a bit of a canvas for ourselves. So let's go into game object, 3D object, and let's create a plane. And let's make it a pretty good plane size. Let's uh, change the scale to 10 and 10 by 10. And let's drop that position down minus 5 in case we want to create some gravity and have our spheres drop down. Now let's also go and create another 3D object. Let's do a sphere. Um, scale 111 looks about fine, and that's that's all we really need for right now is, is a single sphere. So we've got a sphere, we've got a plane, and then we've got our example streaming as well. Now in the last uh, version uh, piece of the code we went through here, right at the end of it, after we got our um, username, password, and URL hooked up, we did one other thing. We put in these, declared these four public variables, mesh render for a sphere mesh render, and then three colors, red material, yellow material, and green material. And that's where we're going to start off is effectively wiring, creating and wiring these materials in from the UI. Um, by putting them in here and saving them, when we go back into the example streaming here and select this in the, uh, in the window here, the inspector shows red material, yellow material, and green material, and sphere mesh render. There's nothing assigned in here right now, so we need to go and fix that. Uh, so if we go into assets here, let's start off by creating three colors. Um, red, yellow, and green are traffic light ones. Uh, so let's start by going in here and saying create a material. And here we are. We're going to call it our red material. You can call it whatever you want. Um, and once that's created, we're going to click on simply click on the color here. We can make it metallic, whatever you like. Um, let's make this one a little bit metallic, just for grins. Um, and that's our red material. Uh, let's do this again, create material. Let's call this one yellow material. Um, and let's go and make some yellow. And uh, let's make this one uh, less smooth and super metallic. Uh, maybe not that much. All right. And we've got our yellow material. And then last but not least, uh, let's do our green material. And let's just make this one a bog standard green green material and here's our color make sure I get the name set right green material you know and you don't have to they don't have to be one for one name matching there I'll call that green material one two three and spell it wrong doesn't really matter um, and now if I click on my example streaming I'm gonna go and I'm gonna drag red material that I've created in the asset side, I could manually wire it into here, but I'm going to drop it into this red material variable. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing for yellow. And I'm going to do the same thing for green. Now you see we still have a trouble here. We've Our, our mesh render is sort of empty here. I'm going to grab this sphere. Um, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down into here, into my assets, and service examples in the scripts and I'm going to go and click on the this the example streaming.cs which we're working on you can see um, yeah, and drag my sphere over here oops so and I have trouble sometimes wiring these up but when I click on example streaming which is the name of my C sharp script uh, they show up over here, and now my green, yellow, red, and sphere mesh renderer are all associated with either assets, uh, three in these three cases, material colors, 
And the fourth one, most importantly, is the sphere. Um, and so now when I go into the code um, and I ask the code to do something and associate the reds to the sphere mesh renderer, uh, it knows where to go. So what do I do? How do I make that work? Well, down in here within the code, and this is the very simple three lines of code, uh, there is a block in here that has the word alt. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go. There it is. And I've already pasted it in here, so yours is going to look like this when you first come to it. Uh, make sure, see this bracket here, uh, for each of our alt and res alternatives, make sure you get what I'm about to show you inside of here. If, you, if you're not inside of it, it'll throw an error. And all I'm going to ask is once it's all done um, receiving the string from the speech to text service, it's got one conditional here and it's going to ask, does the transcript contain the word red or whatever you want? Right? Let's add another one in here. Let's do, does it contain green? Um, and in this case, and just make sure that the materials uh, line up with whatever name that you've put up here. We've got red underscore material and green underscore material. And what it will do is when that transcript flows through, um, it will, um, if it sees the word, and this is just grepping it, it will assign the mesh, mesh renderer material to whatever you like. Um, you can change attributes of scale or location or color or whatever you want. We're just going to do a very simple version here, red and green. Now let's see if we can run this without errors. Um, and again, if that works, it will push the um, uh, the attribute back to the object, in this case our sim simple sphere. And um, if all goes well, fingers crossed, we should be able to voice command the color uh, of this object. Um, Maybe throwing an error here, so let's see. Oh, here we are. Testing one, two, three. Oops, I stopped it. I think it did actually run happily. So let's try this one more time. And you can see from the number of warnings below there, we're not exactly following best practices here, but mainly we just want to get you started. The color is blue. The color is green. The color is red. Yay. So there you go. So uh, by basically getting set up and started uh, with the speech to text, you can get your audio stream coming in um, and then you can have the system um, again, audio is coming in, the speech to text service is transcribing it, the transcript is flowing back into Unity, uh, and then you can do a basic um, uh, word detector here to um, take an action that you want. In this case, if you detect a certain word, um, you can change the state or the color of a material. There's another video I did where there's another service that does tone detection, uh, and depending on your tone of voice, your amplitude of anger or joy, um, or for any other attributes or signals you want to detect. Uh, you can detect human tone and change the attributes of an avatar or an object based on that one. Uh, but I hope this um, helps. And again, very little um, modifications to the stock code. Basically three blocks of code. This one here for your username, password, and URL. This one here for declaring your materials and your mesh renderer. And then whatever you want to put down in here in terms of detecting and making the changes to your attribute. Um, let's go here. Um, uh, right below the string text uh, within here. And with that, you can start to verbally command your, uh, your code. So hope you help. And uh, let's turn that ball green before we go. And thanks for watching.